A long, long time ago, in a kingdom far away, a queen gave birth to a beautiful daughter. She invited her best friend, the gorgeous magical queen of the woods, with her son to see her baby. But as the queen of the woods was traveling to the queen's palace, disaster struck. The evil wizard had followed the queen of the woods into the kingdom. So, here you are. Where is that son of yours? And who is this beautiful baby? Is she the one? Don't you dare come near. Get them out of here, now! Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, you will stop me, will you? For how long will they run away from me? Till your son turns 21, I shall keep hounding him. Many years passed since the epic battle. Let us now take you to the next part of the story in a little village not very far from the kingdom. There lived a peasant with his son Stefan and his daughter Felicia. The peasant was very poor and had very little. When he realized it was time for him to leave the world, he called his children to him. My dear children, all my life I have loved you with all my heart. The only possessions I have are what you see. The hen, the two stools, the straw mat, the pot of pinks, and this silver ring. My darling daughter, to you I must give this pot of pinks and the silver ring. And my son, you can have all else. Father, I have no use for any possessions. All I long for you are your love and blessings. Ah, my beloved daughter, there is so much that I should... <laughs> and the peasant breathed his last. The brother took the two stools and the mat and the hand and let Felicia have the pot of pinks and the silver ring. This ring should fetch you some coins to live by. Oh, no, brother. Father gave this ring to me. It is all I have left of him. I shall never part with it. As you please, but don't you expect me to provide for you, sister. From now on, you have to fend for yourself. The hen, the vegetables from the garden, and all else is mine, and mine alone, even the eggs of the hen. Felicia was so saddened to see her brother so selfish. She thought she would never feel happy or loved again. When she saw the pot of pinks almost dying for want of water. Oh, you dear flowers, do you feel unloved and uncared for too? Are you sad like me? And yet you smell so sweet, the most beautiful fragrance in the entire world. I love you, my dear pinks, and I shall always love you. From now on, we shall be the best of friends, and I shall look after you and take care of you with my life. You need some water? Wait for me while I fetch some for you from the fountain. Felicia ran out to the fountain at a run-down mansion near the forest. She had barely set her pitcher to fill by the fountain when she heard beautiful music and saw an amazing sight. There is someone behind the fountain. Please, whoever you are, come hither. You have nothing to fear. My lady, forgive me. I did not intend to spy. I didn't know you would be here. That's all right, my child. Oh, you're so graceful and beautiful. Have you supped yet? No, your highness. Then please, dine with me. Come sit next to me. You are very kind, my lady. The queen of the woods herself served Felicia. The food tasted better than anything Felicia had ever tasted. When the meal was over, Thank you so much, my lady. I do not own much, but there is a pot of pinks that I love more than anything else in the world. 
that pinks are the sweetest smelling flowers I have ever known. Do let me gift them to you as a mark of my gratitude to you. You have nothing to thank me for, my dear, but if it makes you happy, I shall be glad to accept your pot of pinks. Thank you, my lady. If you would just wait a little while, I shall run home and get it for you. Yes, I shall wait. Take all the time you need. So Felicia ran home to get her pot of pinks. But when she went by the window where the pot lay, she found only a cabbage there. Stefan had stolen the pot of pinks and replaced it with a cabbage. Sadly, Felicia went back to the Queen of Woods. My lady, I am so sorry, but it looks like my brother has taken my pot of pinks. But please accept this. This is all I possess, and I wish for you to have it. But if I take this, you will be left with nothing. My lady, your friendship is enough for me. Very well. Don't you worry, my dear. All your troubles will soon end. Here is your picture. You forgot to take it with you. Oh! Just a parting gift from me. And we shall meet again, my dear. We shall meet at the break of the 21st dawn. Then the Queen of the Woods disappeared into a flash of light. Felicia stood there agape. Felicia went home with the pitcher, but her heart ached for her pinks, for she loved them more than anything in the world. She looked at the cabbage that sat where her pinks used to be, and in a fit of anger, she took the cabbage and was about to throw it out of the window when she heard a strange voice. Don't! Please don't throw me! You are a cabbage, and you talk. I have never spoken before, but maybe it is because of the coming of the 21st dawn. If you plant me back with my comrades, I shall tell you that your pinks are under your brother Stefan's bed. So Felicia went into the garden and planted the cabbage back. She ran into her brother's bedroom and saw a whole army of rats trying to get the pinks. Felicia was horrified. All she could think of to save her beloved pinks was to get the water from the pitcher, for she hoped it would have some magic in it. Oh, my beloved pinks, you are okay. How worried I was. Oh, yes they are. How else would they be? You are a hen that talks. I don't know how. I have never spoken before. It must be the coming of the 21st dawn. What is this 21st dawn? Well, there was never a secret that I could keep. So the queen of the woods turned me into a hen. You see, I am Stefan's mother. One day a queen from a far off land came to our door. She had a baby more beautiful than I have ever seen in my life. And I have seen many for I was a nurse. The queen was ill and exhausted but I promised I would take care of you as my own. Then, one day, the Queen of the Woods came here with a pot of pinks and a ring and asked my husband to give those to you when you grew up. She took the Queen with her, and before leaving, she turned me to a hen so that I would never be able to tell the secret to anyone till the last night before the 21st dawn. And that is all I know. Oh, look, it is dawn already. When Felicia saw the Queen of the Woods appear, she ran out into the garden to greet her, leaving the pinks behind. The Queen stood before her, smiling. Ah, my dear Felicia, the morning I have been waiting for for years. I see the nurse has told you a lot, but she has not told you everything yet. My lady, where is my mother? Can I see her? I shall take you to her myself. She is in a safe place. It is all because of me, my dear, that the evil wizard attacked you. As the Queen of the Woods, I had to protect nature from the evil wizard who wanted to control it. Since he could not defeat me, he chose to end my reign by taking away my son, for he would not inherit my magical powers till he became 21 years old. I knew the evil wizard would keep looking for him, and for you, 
till he found you, and hence I let you grow up here as an ordinary peasant girl so that he would not find you. Why would he want to hurt me, my lady? Because you were to be my son's true love, and the power of that love would protect him. So where is your son now? Here I am, my dear. Your love has protected him, my dear. My love? But I have never seen him before. Oh, yes you have. You've loved him more than you've loved anything in the world. The pot of pinks. The pot of pinks! I had turned my son into a pot of pinks so that he would be close to you till he turned 21. Today is the dawn of his 21st year. The 21st dawn? And the evil wizard? What became of him? The rats were his army and so were these cabbages. Now that my son has become 21 and has inherited all my powers, the evil wizard can do nothing. Especially since your love will protect him always. It will, right? Does he love me? I love you more than my life, my dear. And with every passing day, this love becomes deeper. Will you be willing to accept me as your husband? I will! Now all your troubles have ended, my dear, and you shall return to your rightful place as the princess. I shall take you to your mother, and we shall celebrate your wedding in true pomp and splendour. But before that, tell me how would you like me to punish your unkind brother? Don't, my lady. I choose to forgive him. He took from you the one thing you loved and you forgive him? I am so happy and grateful that I want everyone to be happy. Turn the kind nurse to her true form and let her and her son Stefan live in comfort and happiness. Very well, my dear. They will never now want again and Stefan will live as a kind, compassionate gentleman, a true, ideal son to his mother. So all was well. Princess Felicia was married to Prince Pink and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>